So getting ready for work. I'm your dude, Chris. I have autism here. Getting ready for work. So right now I'm waiting for my aunt to pick me up. She'll be picking me up at 4.30. Yes, she'll be picking me up around that time. So I got plenty of, I got a little bit of time to kill. Just another chillaxo vlog. Vlog, vlogs in life. Beautiful day outside, wouldn't you say? So right now I'm gonna be taking my dog outside. So I gotta get her leash. I do it very quietly. Cause she has a tendency to keep trying to run away from me for some odd reason. And it's not like I'm, I'm abusing her or anything. If anything, I'm, I'm nice to this dog. And she, now she wants to play this game. She does not like having the leash on her. Like, I do not know why, but... Look, she's shaky. What's the matter, girl? What's the matter? Alright. Me and her are going to go for a little walk. Outside. You ready to go outside, Jewel? Yeah, she's gonna love this. Come on, girl. Let's go. Uh-oh. Hold on. Slow down, doggy. Oh, slow now. Stop it. It but I can't stop. Stop. Okay, good. She's all tangled up. And she went stop going. She had to stop, but she doesn't know what I don't think she really understands the firm, full terminology of the word stop. Because she's still going well, after I told her to stop. Now, I don't know, I mean, I've thought about doing another bathroom restroom chronicles, because I kind of had fun doing that, you know, just uh, putting on this angry, this kind of serious persona about, you know, these things that, you know, most of us are get irritated by. There's a lot of people who don't flush, you know, clean up after themselves when they, when they go to the, these public restrooms. It could even be at your house, but mostly it's public restrooms. It just gets a tire. It just gets. I just get disgusted with it. I get tired of seeing it all the time. Shit and piss in the toilets. It's disgusting. It won't flush. Hey. Uh-oh. See that dog over there. Another dog. Oh, God. She's fighting. See, I'm just chilling. I'm in no hurry. As of this point, 
I'm at the point in in my life where, like, if I I do care about my job, but if I get fired, if I had gotten fired, what you know, five months into my job, I would have cared. But it's been over a year now, and a lot of the shit I had to go through at my work, such as you know having to walk and on floors, I got my socks wet because one of the drain holes in the kitchen got overflowed and the store the Wendy's I work at hasn't there hasn't been that much remodeling to the, there hasn't hardly been any remodeling to the kitchen whatsoever and it's been like that since 1978 it's just been the same old same old there hasn't been any updates except for like computer installments and what have you and the floors there was like this this uh problem where the suit where the drain holes in the kitchen would get backed up and then when we drink when we would empty the, the dish water it goes into this drain hole right and then all the other drain holes get overflowed and it was just uncomfortable very disgusting even when I started working there there was just bug problems roach problems but they took care of that so we don't have we don't, we don't, I don't see any more roaches or bugs anymore and we went the extra mile to get it, keep it clean and all. They took care of that, but then there's still other problems. There's still things that are falling apart. The whole store just needs a whole remodeling, period. And then there's the one, there's the Wendy's on North Road that I think I can help turn around because whenever since I started working at this, the Wendy's I'm working at, the Wendy's hasn't been turned around since I started working there. That's when things started to turn around for the better a little bit, you know. There wasn't more, there, we didn't have any roach or bug problems. Um, but then other problems arise because, you know, it's an old store. And over time, things, it just happens, you know. And just keep, we just kept it clean and, and all. And I have, and every night I have to work from 5 to closing. Fridays and Saturdays, closing isn't till I don't I can work from five to like past one a.m. because one a.m. is the closing time. But all the other days are from are up until twelve o'clock a.m. It's the store opens from ten p from ten a.m. to twelve a.m. ten a.m. in the morning from midnight to midnight. Most days, except for Friday and Saturday, it's, it's open an hour later, where I where I work at. But then you go on the website for that particular location, and it said it was open till 3 a.m. So that tells me that this place used to stay open longer. But whoever was in charge of the website didn't change up the schedule, so everybody's coming around thinking we're open till 3 a.m. And then they find out the hard way. And they go back home pissed off and mad because they're really looking forward to a meal. And I can't blame them. You go through all that lengths to driving and get to, me to get a meal, I'd be pissed too. But then again, who or who who orders fast food at 3 a.m.? Come on, like seriously. What we're getting ordering fast food at, at 12 a.m. alone is ridiculous because. The only reason, only per people that would do that are a bunch of stoners who get stoned and get drunk as fuck. And then they're stoned and they got the munchies because they got, because they got high. And then they want to eat something. Because they're out in the clubs all the way up till midnight. And they're like, oh, I'm hungry. And then Wendy's looks at this as a golden opportunity to make some more cash. Which, you know, which is kind of a... In a way, a brilliant way to make cash, you know? Like, why not? Let's make some money off of stoners. Because they always got the munchies. I'm not saying I have anything against people who smoke weed, but, like... I It's just that it takes a physical toll on me when I have to work this much. Every, almost, like, most nights, five days a week. I have to... I'm, I'm having to rush... And meet a deadline and it just gets so stressed I just get so stressed out I just get tired and then 
it just gets it just gets to you after a while and then you just get tired of it and then when you get tired of it you just get tired of everything that's in correlation to it it's just that you know when it's you who's having to do the work it's not fun you know but all these people who are stoned as fuck who are getting high whatever the reason may be and it may not always it's not always that be getting stoned and getting high is not I'm not saying that's always the case but I assume half the time it is the case that people whatever it is they get whatever it is that gives them the munchies they have munchies at midnight why, like why couldn't you eat dinner like normal person like between 5 and 7 30 p.m. Or 8 o'clock for that matter. Why do you have to wait till midnight to have your dinner? Some people get off work. Some people don't get off till midnight. Some people have night shift. And they don't get the opportunity to eat until midnight. Or they might want to get out of the house. Or whatever the, whatever the case is. They might want to escape some of the drama from their family. And they feel like, oh, I'm stressed out. I think if I go to Wendy's and have myself a burger or whatever... I can relieve this stress by eating food. I, I do that a lot. Look at me. I You can tell I've been stressed out a lot because I eat a lot to deal with stress. They say meditation. I'll, well, I'm going to sit down in Indian style. I can do that any day. I've tried that. Trust me. I only come to find out that I lose circulation in part of my feet in the process because I'm out of shape. Nah, all jokes aside though, really, honestly, it does get tiresome though. And this dog will give me the roundabout. Come on, Joel, you need a hustle. Can you stop fiddling with me? Stop fiddling. Stop fiddling. Stop fiddling. Joel, don't be, don't be ridiculous. You're embarrassing yourself. Stop doing that. Like, even if I got fired, the thing of it is, like, it's not going to be like it was when I got fired from McDonald's because I didn't have any money after that. But then it wouldn't be until like a year and a half later, until like, it wouldn't be until almost two years later that I found another way to make money from at home by taking surveys and it's, and it's money it's money it's not much but it's something and every now and then I would get to go out because of it or get to buy what I wanted so I'm we're, I'm going to plan on working there for a few more years at Wendy's and I'm going to keep filing my taxes every year and then save my money so that when the time comes around, get off the couch. She's not even supposed to be on the couch and look at her. She's on the couch. Get off now. Get off, Joel. Get off the couch. I said get off. Get off the couch. No, you're not supposed to be. Yeah, that's a good girl. Get Stay off the couch. She, yeah, she sheds a lot. My mom doesn't want her on the couch. As you can already tell, she hasn't even been up there long. Look how much hair she's got on the couch already. I don't know if you can see that. See that? She'll shed a bunch. And so, she because she went outside and she went to the bathroom, I'm going to give her a treat. I'm going to give her one of these dog treats. I'm going to turn on the TV for her. Here you go. I'm going to turn on the TV for you.
mom's texting me. And I know she's already here, so I'm just trying to find my keys in my pocket. Right, well, not All right, I'm going to end the video here. Peace out.